For the first time in nearly three months, students at the secondary school in the northeastern Nigerian town of Dapchi are back, singing the school anthem. Some of the girls here were abducted by Boko Haram on February 19th. They asked VOA not to show their faces. So far, some 220 students have returned to their classrooms. More than 400 have not. Well, the reason we can assume or we can uh, suspect that the, whether the parents were afraid to send down their children or the children were also afraid to come back. Many of the students are traumatized by their month-long captivity by members of Boko Haram. They snapped our photos and told us not to return to school, but I came back because I want to learn. The Dapchi Girls School is in a dire state. The windows and floors of the classrooms are cracked, the girls' dorm rooms are bare with no beds, the water supply is low, and electricity is unstable. A multi-million dollar UNICEF-supported Safe Schools initiative is supposed to make schools in northeastern Nigeria more conducive to learning by training teachers on security and providing clean water, among other measures. But none of these initiatives have reached the Dapchi School. It was not part of the Safe School initiative, and uh, this probably would speak to the fact that uh, the Safe School initiative needs to expand. Yeah? Uh, because you, you never know where will the next uh, Dapchi come from. It was only after the Dapchi abduction that UNICEF came in, handing out backpacks and school supplies to the students. VOA was not allowed to film the soldiers that have since been posted to the main gate. Plainclothes police officers have been dispatched throughout Dapchi town. The parents of the schoolgirls say these measures are helpful. They have been meeting together to discuss the security situation, and some of them have opted to defy Boko Haram's demand to keep girls out of school. We have to fight it. We have to fight it. They cannot, they cannot beat us, and they can never win us because we have to, we must see that we send them back to school, let them go. It is a different story for Rebecca Sharibu, whose daughter Leah is the only Dapchi schoolgirl Boko Haram did not release, allegedly because she refused to convert to Islam. When my, do my daughter come back, I will not allow her to go to that school again. No any government come from us and help us. Oh, tell us everything about this near. No any government, come. These days, Rebecca often finds herself going into her daughter's bedroom to cry. Across the street, Leah's classmates are taking a huge risk simply by going to school. Chika Odoa, in Dapji, for VOA News.